To keep the rampant adoration under control, there are always plenty of policemen and guards at Cassidy's concerts. Still, the young singer takes no chances. When he finishes his last love song, he doesn't wait around for audience affection. He bolts off the stage into the arms of two associates who rush him off at top speed into his waiting car. The logistics are planned as carefully as a military maneuver to make sure he never gets caught by the mobs that chase him into the street. In the past, some fans have torn at his clothes and even his hair, trying for souvenirs. Obviously, I have to go through a transition, and it's, it's happening now, whether I'm going to survive and whether I'm going to swim, or whether I'm going to sing, who can tell? One would like to believe that it's all going to go on forever, and you know, you're all, always going to live in forever and ever land, but I know that's not going to happen. It's amazing. I, I can't explain it. I don't know why they do it. I just don't know why. It's really great, I mean, for a performer to walk out on stage and have, you know, 10,000, 20,000, how many thousand people there are out there, to be so totally positive and totally enthusiastic about you. I mean, you know, you couldn't really ask for anything more. Obviously, I don't want to get hurt. I mean, I, you know, I don't want my clothes ripped off me either. Let's go. 